Hey everybody, what's happening? I'm the Tim Eister and welcome back to Dunswell. In the last episode, I'll just give you guys a quick overview in case you missed it. We uh, fixed up the metro network a little bit. All right, so I added a hub station over here, you know, connected up a few new lines, made everything a little bit more efficient. And so far it has been operating pretty well. I have to say, if I check my, um, come on, my metro lines, <laughs> you can see that uh, they are fairly used. Um, some of them more than others, but you know, overall they, they're working fine. Now, there is one thing that I did notice. Uh, we have 104,000 people in Dunswell. So we're officially like, you know, a pretty big city, even as far as city skylines goes. But there's only less than 5,000 people using public transportation. Plus, you know, another 1,500 tourists per week. But overall, you know, we don't have that much public transportation usage. So we're gonna have to make some changes here in order for more people to start using it. Um, I think we may want to start introducing tram lines downtown eventually. Um, and I don't know if there's anything else I can do. Maybe, can I manage? Uh, do, do, do. Okay, so we are investing heavily into our public transportation. Um, can I set no, there's no options to like set fares and stuff. Uh, okay, so I think I think really the only thing we can do is maybe to introduce some new uh, public transportation methods. I think that's what we're gonna have to go with. Either that or improve on the metro network that we have now even more so. So maybe adding some lines. I, I was debating at one point adding another line going out this way to service these folks over here. Oh, and I just noticed this not too long ago. That's, this is completely my fault. Um, here, I'm just gonna add a little spur power line over here. So yeah, this, unfortunately this town got like fully abandoned. Um, it was not a good day to reside in this neighborhood over the last couple of years, I think, <laughs> before I noticed it was all gone. Oops, but it's fine. Um, anyways. I think I may want to add like another loop going this way, just like a short line or something, just to make these people happy. And I was thinking of possibly having a north to south line. So maybe connecting from like this hub over here on Industrial Island down to the main hub. So if I can connect those two, then it would make so, you know, passengers wouldn't have to go downtown and then back out in a sort of hub and spoke fashion. Cause that seems to be kind of like the old method nowadays, um, as far as like any type of transportation, you know, hub and spoke is kind of a thing of the past. So, uh, that being said for this episode, I want to focus on our bus network. So it is in shambles right now in South Dunswell due to us, you know, reconfiguring all of this. And, uh, this episode, I want to take a couple of minutes to fix it up. And especially with us having this metro inner city bus hub right here, this is the perfect hub station to service all of this area. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to overview my lines. Now, I, I off camera, I experimented with these airport lines. I'm just going to remove them because they don't really serve any purpose. Unfortunately, uh, our bus hub is no longer getting used if I delete those lines. But I mean, honestly, they weren't. They weren't really doing much. The airport is in such like a, a secluded area and we have the metro system, which is operating fairly well. I don't really see the need to have any buses going here, but anyway, I'll leave the bus station just because it looks cool. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. Um, okay, so first thing is first. So we have a few lines that I want to just take a moment to figure out what's going on. So we have this blue line here that goes all the way to this hub or this this station. Yeah, and there's some weird stuff going on here. I think I may just delete this line altogether and redo it. Uh, okay, so I think this is the South Dunswell line. There's only 20, 
<laughs> oh, okay. There's nobody using this line whatsoever. So let's get rid of that. What's this line? This weird greenish color. That would probably be Central Business District South. This line as well is kind of weird because it goes all the way to downtown and then all the way down south. It's way too long. I don't know what I was thinking with this. It is sort of getting used, but not really that much. I'm just going to get rid of it. And then this lime green line, which kind of makes its way almost downtown. I kind of like this line because of its interconnectability. So you, you can kind of go downtown from this line. It intersects with this red line over here. So I may want to keep this one. But I think I'm going to remove the stations going to this hub. All right, so I just want it to be going south to north, basically. Now, how am I going to do this? Oh, wrecking everything. And that's how we do it. I think that should work quite well. Uh, yeah, there's one more station here. Here, why not? I'll add one more here before making our way back to the station. And then I'm going to remove this line. There, so that's not too, too bad. It's kind of redundant due to there being metro stations not too far, but that's fine. All right, so now let's start creating some new lines. So I kind of want to recreate a like the blue line that was going down this way, but I'm not going to make it as long. So let's create a new line. And let's, let's go way down. Let's go like way down south over here. So let's add our first stop, second stop near the hospital. Actually here, let me add first stop, second stop. There, I'm just going to add a few preemptive stops before going out here. And then we're going to start backtracking back over to the station. Now the only thing that'll be different here is I can maybe add a stop and then do that. And actually, you know what? Let's have an intersecting stop right here. Let's do that. I know it's kind of redundant, but whatever. It's fine. There, so that makes a little more sense. There's kind of a dead zone here, but I mean, really you only have to walk a block or maybe two blocks. So it's not that bad to the nearest bus station. Although I may want to add like a north to south because it does leave kind of a dead zone. But then, yeah, we have the gray line here, so I think it's okay. All right, so we have that. Um, I'm going to want to service this area now. So let's start a new line. And this one is going to go down here. Now this one's gonna be a little weird because we have we have the mall, which is of course a big landmark. I guess I guess I'm just gonna go down this street. Actually, I'll add a stop here, stop here, and then a stop at the mall itself and then it will loop around now this no I can't do that 
This is kind of a weird line. Hmm. I guess I could do something like this. It's more of like a bus loop at this point. Which honestly is fine. It won't really matter. Because it's not a, a long... It's not like a big area to service, so I think that's okay. Alright, so... Uh, I think we pretty much have our bases covered now. As far as South Dunswell goes. I am still kind of bothered by this place, because there's not... There's not, like, a whole lot going on here. You know, and of course, we... We need the maximum coverage. I think here's what I'll do. I'll create a new line, start it off from here. Yeah, and then this line will just go kind of parallel to this one. And then I'll make it sort of... There's a station there. How about that? Now everything's interconnected. And actually, so this is... These two lines are now pretty close to one another. I could... Uh, no, it's not that bad. I think it's... I think it's quite alright as is. But on second thought, maybe I'll continue this line. Because this loops around. Yeah, all right, there we go. So now with our lines being laid down, let's go into our public transportation menu and we're gonna want to rename and recolor some of these lines. So let me just take a look real quick at my zones, or districts rather. Okay, so this is Robert Robin Heights, this whole South Dunswell section. 
and then we have Victoria up here. So uh, let's see, bus line number 19. Let's do, West Robin Heights. And then we'll make this like a forest green color. Bus line 21. Where is this one? This is the new line that we created. We can do um, Robin Heights to Victoria. And then let's have this like a dark, dark, dark blue line. And, uh, oh, oh, did it not rename? Guess not. Heights Victoria. Okay, bus line number 20. Let's do this a light blue. And this is the East Robin Heights. And there you have it. That's pretty simple, eh? Look at all the bus lines we have. Oh my God, that's crazy. Well, uh, I think this is a little more efficient than what it used to be. At least we have the inner connectability with this hub right here. So at least, you know, the bus people don't have to, you know, transfer by walking outside. They can simply do so within the uh, the hub itself. So uh, actually, let me take a quick glance. Public transportation. So yeah, we'll have to see if this goes up. Um, I don't think it's really going to change with what we did today, but you know who knows. All right, one more thing before I end this episode. I want to edit my bus lines because by default the game always spawns way too many buses than what's necessary so let's start with this line here somewhat popular 174 passengers a week so let's see how many buses the game is spawning 13 i think this is a little too much however it is a long line i think 10 should suffice south river nope that's an old line what do we have here? Dunswell University. Yes, I... No, I'm gonna keep that as is actually. East Robin Heights. This is not really a popular line, so I'm not gonna want too many buses. Probably eight, seven, eight. Yeah, that's eight's fine. And then, um, what else? Central Business District South. This is a pretty popular line, 258 people. How many buses we have? 16. Actually, I think this is an old line that we uh, that we made earlier. So what I will do for this line though, since I'm here, is I'm gonna change this into an articulated bus. So it'll further increase the capacity of the line without having to spawn more buses. Uh, what else? What else? What else? All right, next up we have West Robin Heights. This is really not a popular line, but it is spawning 18 buses by default. I'm going to lower this down to 10. Uh, what else? What else? What else? South River. 28 buses. Holy crap. That's a lot. I'm gonna lower that down to 16. And with this being a pretty popular line, I'm going to change this into articulated buses. Let's take a look downtown, see what we can do. Let's take our most popular lines, like the Brightwood line, which runs 13 buses. And I think this could make do with some higher capacity buses. Downtown to industrial. 20 buses. Let's definitely change this to the high capacity buses. And that should be fine. That should be quite all right. Um, I 
Dunsville University line. This one too is pretty busy. 25 buses. Let's lower this down to 20, I guess. And have this into articulated buses, which have 20 more seats. And I think that should do it. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for this episode. I know it's a little bit on the short side, but I really wanted to focus on the bus network for this time. Next episode, I'm not really sure what we'll get into. We have some high demand for industry or offices. Uh, I really don't know what we're going to do for that. I'd like to... Actually, you know, I'd like to do a little bit of work on Industrial Island. We've never completely finished it. And with our industrial demand being so high, I think this would be a good opportunity to get into that. So that'll do for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment, like, don't forget to subscribe. And until the next episode, take care.